About one in seven adults in the United States takes an antidepressant at any given time, and many of these people are concerned about weight gain as a potential side effect. Although antidepressants, as an overall class of medication, are associated with weight gain, there hasn't been enough research on differences in weight gain between different types of antidepressants. The study aimed to shed light on these potential differences, which could help people avoid unnecessary and unwanted weight gain, which may in turn improve adherence to these drugs. The gold standard for this kind of study would be to do a randomized trial where we would enroll patients who were taking an antidepressant for the first time and then randomly assign them to one of the eight different drugs that we wanted to test, follow them up over time and see how their weight changes. Unfortunately, that approach is really expensive and very logistically challenging, especially when you're looking across a long period of time with a lot of people. So we did what we think is the next best thing, which was to collect electronic health record data on over 180,000 patients across eight different health systems in the US. We applied the same criteria that you would in a randomized trial, so restricting to people who had never taken an antidepressant before, restricting to people in the correct age range, etc. And then we examined differences in their weight over time and used statistical techniques to account for the fact that treatment was not actually randomly assigned the way it would be in a trial. So our approach is kind of emulating the randomized trial that we would have liked to conduct if it were feasible. The main takeaway for physicians is that there were some clinically meaningful differences in weight gain between different first-line antidepressants. We did find that overall there was the least amount of weight gain for bupropion versus the other medications that we examined. But we also found some important differences in weight gain between medications even in the same subclass. So for example, at six months, we saw greater weight gain for those taking escitalopram than those taking sertraline, even though they're both SSRIs. So it's important that physicians are aware that there are differences in weight gain across different common antidepressants, even those in the same subclass. And the goal for the study is that clinicians will use this information and work with their patients to help them decide what the best medication would be for them to avoid unnecessary and unwanted weight gain. There are many factors that drive a clinician's decision to pick one antidepressant over another, including symptoms, other side effects, half-life, a lot of considerations. For clinicians who want to start a patient on an antidepressant, but they're concerned about their patient's weight, they can use the study to pick a treatment that is less likely to lead to large amounts of weight gain. The study can also potentially improve patients' adherence to the treatment if they talk with their clinician beforehand, and together they pick a medication that's less likely to lead to unwanted weight gain. If you're interested in learning more, you can find the full study at annals.org.